Chris Hall with South Dakota Game Fishing Parks. You know, the Game Fishing Parks have always relied on partnerships to get work done. I got to meet with Joe Vetch out at the Outdoor Campus West in Rapid City and talk about a cool partnership that only not only gets some work done, gets more access to hunting, fishing, camping, and the outdoors for more people. Meet Joe Vetch and the Youth Hunting Adventures Action Chair. Joe has helped spearhead a free rental program for this action chair at GFP's Rapid City Outdoor Campus. Joe, how did you get involved with this project and even with the campus? It was pretty unique. Uh, I was uh, um, recruited looking around for something I wanted to do as a volunteer situation. And so I had vir uh, virtually started off in being a volunteer for the uh, campus. I uh, uh, did, had not realized that they uh, um, use, uh, utilize uh, experienced people of, of helping out. So I started off at their front desk doing customer service. Although the track chair is designed to give the user a more independent experience, getting the track chair in and out of the trailer and transferring to the track chair itself can take some assistance. Now for the controls, on the left side here, this is what we've got is your tilt. So this is going to give you your angle of how you're going to go down and how you're going to proceed over uh, whether it's hills uh, or just a flat country. Uh, if you're doing a long line there, you're just going to want to keep yourself in a, in a safe mode. You can stay right in the middle, cruise on down the road. You're gonna hit up a hill or something like that, you're gonna bring it down, and maybe you're gonna go up a hill or, or down a hill. And then you got some adjustments to do. And that's just a matter of just kind of playing with it and figuring out uh, what angle is comfortable for you. And the handle's made so you keep your hands in that control all the time. Now the right side actually has all your uh, controls. That's gonna be your, your main control for the speed. Uh, it's gonna tell you how fast you're going. It's gonna tell you how much battery life you have. Uh, it is equipped with a little bit of a horn, but that's, uh, don't think you're going to worry about trying to get anybody out of the way. Um, and it's, it's actually set up so uh, uh, five is its maximum power. And by doing that, that's probably only about three, three and a half, four, mile, four mile an hour. It's really not a, not a fast speed. So you really can't get in, in uh, uh, trouble unless you get a little goofy or you're trying to go over a bump. Sure. What? What's the rated like battery life? I know you and I have had a couple discussions sure. about battery life and how how long those things can go. So when they pick it up, they should check to make sure it's full charge. Exactly. Yep. And, and it then should what, be on a, just an average day. And we all know how batteries work. I mean. <laughs> yep. Yeah. But what what's the full on full charge? What can you expect? You should be able to. Uh, uh, for the most part, on a daily basis, if you're taking it out, say five to, to eight hours for the day. If you're in rough terrain, you're gonna be using up a lot more battery than you are if just on smooth surface. So you have to kind of judge it a little bit with your own discretion. And uh, a lot of that's gonna to have to take place with uh, just playing with it, seeing how you go. And you, and you always have that gauge to watch. Uh, we do have some good backups. So we've got a, a solar powered battery charger. So that can help us within uh, on the trailer itself. Uh, we do carry a, a extension cord in there, so and, and it would be our suggestion that at nighttime when you're done, just charge it up, and then that way you're ready to go for the next day. Well, quickly, you know, I know you said you had a fishing pole accessory coming up here, and I see you have a gun scabbard here. You also have a handy dandy. We can make this, so we got you a rifle rack. Right. <laughs> yeah. So. What are those pads that are down by your legs there? What is these, those? these are actually a nice little, uh, it's called a lateral support. And it actually allows you to keep your legs, uh, being in a wheelchair or some sort like that, you don't have the use and muscles of that. So it allows you to keep uh, uh, intact and keep it a safe uh, um, position uh, to hold you like that. And it's made to uh, actually be comfortable. We do use a Rojo seat on the bottom too. And that seat actually uh, gives you a little air cushion. Again, it gives you a little more comfort. Uh, and we even allow it to, the fact is that you get your feet strapped in so that way you don't have anything worried about, uh, you know, falling away um, or not being secured. What, uh, I noticed these, these two wheels on the back with kind of that, I think it's the, the, the uh, charger. What, yep. those two wheels, is that just another part of the safety system? It, it's a perfect part of the safety system. It'll allow you not to be tipping backwards. And uh, if you get in, and decide to test it a little bit too far, it'll go back on those wheels and, 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 and it will not tip over. That's the point. We're not asking you to, to try to test it, but we're actually, uh, it's there for a reason and, and, it, and it will not uh, allow you to tip. 
awesome trailer. It's really cool. What size balls it got on there? It's got a two inch, I'm glad you asked. And what yes. kind of uh, light hitch we got on it? Uh, it's a four prong, it's a standard one, which uh, I think most people have on a standard anymore when you look at the, uh, the ones that are uh, put on manufactured wise. Sure. Um, I pull it with a, a Dodge Caravan with a front wheel drive. And it's a six cylinder, but, uh, and it pulls it very well. It's not an uh, awkward trailer to try to pull around. It actually handles extremely well. Stabilizers that are on that trailer too, so if you've got that trailer sitting somewhere, uh, it's got a, again, it's got a solar powered uh, battery that we use and uh, it'll actually make that trailer so it's stable and, and so if you have, whether you have it hooked up to a vehicle or not, it'll actually just stay uh, upright. If somebody wants to go out, um, say it's first day of deer season or middle of turkey season like we are right now, Somebody wants to check it out for a couple days, is that a problem? Do they have to bring it back every day? No, um, we've got a, a sweet little program that right now, if they took it out, if they wanted to have it, and, and if it's not being used, we don't have any reservations, you could take up to two weeks if you really would like to. Uh, and that allows you the time to kind of go around a little bit to different areas. Uh, it normally would be, uh, once the, the hunt is successful, that's when we would ask you to come back, but it would be like a two week maximum uh, sure. time frame. And there is no charge for that amount. Uh, of, of time. It's, a, it's a, probably the easiest thing you can ever do. Stop out at our, our uh, office in the campus here. Uh, just simply stop to the front desk. Um, you can ask the, about the track chair. Um, uh, they'll put your name on this list and if it's available for that calendar day uh, that you want, um, you're, just, you're good as gold. We'll ask that you look over a little bit of a video so we kind of give you some safety tips and uh, uh, we want you to know that you know and have a safe and, and, a, and a successful hunt. Um, and uh, you can take it from there if you need assistance of some sort. Um, you do need to uh, bring your own uh, caretaker if that's what you're going to need to go actually use the chair. Um, uh, in this case, uh, there are some things that they can kind of help you with sure. that we do not provide. But otherwise, we give you the whole chair and uh, um, you know the setup for that, and we, we hopefully give you enough time to make a hunt. And if you didn't get it done in those two weeks, I, I'm, uh, I have a hunch that uh, we might even extend that if you really need to, to finish up the hunt. Now, the beauty of it is you've got a lot of backup right here too. So if a person comes in and wants to use this, this machine, uh, what we want you to do is just, uh, we'll have a little 10 minute video we'll actually to, to, um, to look at. Uh, we're going to show you the machine itself because we want you to be familiar with it. And what we'd like to do is just have you take it around. We've got a beautiful trail system right here and you can kind of fill out what the kind of uh, uh, terrain that you're going to be on. And then that way you get more used to how, how this uh, wheelchair, the track chair actually works. And so, uh, and if you're comfortable with it, um, it doesn't have to take a day long thing. You can do that within an hour. And, uh, and if you're comfortable enough to think that you can actually drive the chair, then we're going to let you go out with that. But we're not going to be there and just leave you high and dry. Well, there you have it. A great partnership with Youth Hunting Adventures, creating an even greater opportunity to expand access to the outdoors. A big thanks to Joe Vetch for all his time and efforts on this project as well.